Hi guys, welcome to Snake Nook. I'm Van and with me I have Tempest. He's my four-year-old normal royal python or ball python and he is hanging out outside so we're going to chill with him in the backyard and the topic of today's video is don't overlook the normal royal python give the normal royal python a chance to be your pet snake stay tuned well guys if you're thinking about getting a royal python it's going to be your first royal python or you're adding another snake to your snake family and you are considering a ball python as a pet snake um, I think you're making a great choice because royals truly do make amazing pet snakes and um, pet, uh, companions overall. They truly do. So if you're planning to get a ball python as your first pet snake, please do your research. They are not the easiest uh, snake species to keep, but they can be very rewarding once you've figured out you know, all that husbandry business. And once you figured out what your Royal Python needs to be happy and healthy. Um, one thing that I like about these snakes is that they are just the perfect package for someone that enjoys handling their snake. And, and that can be very therapeutic. Um, I speak from experience when I say that snakes are just very therapeutic after a long day of work i like to come home and hang out with the snake and and royals never disappoint they uh, always provide that tactile experience that just helps me to relax let me just move speaking of tactile experience <laughs> let me move tempest away from potential danger well he could have potentially got stuck somewhere so I'm moving him away from that area and I still want him to be able to roam freely. So I'm gonna put him far away from where he was because he could have gotten stuck somewhere. Well, but anyways, I was saying, um, yeah, for me, uh, my Royals can be therapeutic just to hold after a long day of work. It helps me relax the way that they move, you know, their, their movements are slow and methodical and, and that just helps. I find myself, taking deeper breaths while I'm holding my royal and uh, just being able to relax a little bit better. So I really enjoy hanging out with uh, with my royals and um, I think that they, they can make great companions. And they are easy to find. If you're looking for a wild type ball python, they are so easy to find guys. There are so many of them in need of homes. I have seen them on Craigslist. Um, and, and they, they're not expensive at all. Not if you're looking for a normal and they need, um, they need homes. People are rehoming them left and right. And if you go to your local pet store or a big chain pet store, they always seem to have normal Royal Pythons and, um, they're anywhere from about 50 to a hundred dollars, something like that. And these are your normals. Whether you pay $500 for a fancy Royal Python, some, some expensive morph, or you pay $50 for a normal Royal Python, the care requirements are going to be the same. You're going to have to provide the same type of care. Keeping the state of our current economy in mind uh, in 2024, Prices are rising left and right for all sorts of things, for basic necessities and for other things. Just the prices are going up no matter what you're shopping for or where you're shopping for it. $500 for a Royal Python to me right now seems like a luxury and I'm speaking about me, like for me. If, if I wanted to purchase a $500 snake at this current time, it's just not doable. It's not in my budget. People that are considering getting a Royal Python as a pet snake should also keep in mind that normals, your wild type Royal Pythons or ball Pythons are in need of homes. 
there are so many royal pythons that I, I see ads for in different places online. And they are in need of homes because lots of people get caught up in, in the morph thing and they start chasing morphs and and lots of people want to get into ball python breeding even though that's just uh so many breeders are doing that already it's it's crazy but so many people just want to get into it and i they see that oh you know ball python sell but um i think that's changing now and I think that many people don't realize, like, and people that just want to purchase a pet snake, they don't realize that the normal royal pythons in their natural habitats are actually uh, just decreasing in number. They are, or can be considered threatened, their numbers are declining because of the pet trade. Their numbers have been in decline for a long time. The normal royal python in its natural habitat is now becoming harder and harder to find. But in captivity, there's all this surplus. And I'll tell you something really quickly, guys. I have read articles in the past. I have come across information about culling. Culling normals because there's too many of them, they're not moving them, they're not, they're not selling them. And so some breeders um, could possibly resort to culling normal wild type royals, or some of these royals are used as feeder snakes. But in the wild, in their natural habitat, sadly, they are in decline. So if, if you are looking for a pet snake, I think it's a good idea to give the normal royal a chance. They will not disappoint, guys. They are amazing. They are just as amazing as a, a morph that has who knows how many genetics in that morph that took 10 years to produce. Just your normal royal. And they're probably the most healthy of all the royals because they're normals. That's how they should look. Royal pythons have a long lifespan. If someone purchased their royal back in 1995 and they have been caring for it properly, chances are they could still have it to this day. They are a long-lived snake. So why so many ball python breeders have just bred so many of them and where are they all <laughs> it's just uh i i can't even fathom how many royal pythons exist in captivity and as the numbers of royal pythons continue to grow in captivity and breeders continue to overbreed this species their value will continue to go down and i'm talking about the normal royal um, or even some um, some of the original morphs like the pinstripes uh, um, those I, you know you can get those for fifty dollars too um, and i have a couple of those i have cyclone and i have whirly i'll put a picture of those two guys here somewhere but yeah so so hopefully guys you will give the normal royal a chance if you are looking to add a royal python to your snake family or you're hoping to get a royal python as your pet snake consider giving the normal royal a chance um, they are certainly every bit as valuable in my opinion as a fancy morph and that is coming from a pet owner perspective if you purchase a fancy morph for hundreds of dollars or even thousands or you purchase a 40 or 50 dollar royal either way the care requirements as i've mentioned uh, before they don't change they stay the same you will have to provide the same type of care so if you are looking at this as a pet owner then certainly your normals are worth uh, the same as 
as your fancy morphs. And so it is, it, it's my goal with this video to inspire you to give the normal royal a chance or the wild type. They are absolutely beautiful and they just look like they belong in nature as you can tell with Tempest hanging out outdoors. He just looks absolutely beautiful against the leaf litter and the green weeds. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I appreciate your company and we hope to see you here again next time. Y'all have a good one. Bye.